In this video, we're going to talk about navigation and camera control. The first thing we want to look at here is the spacebar. So we saw before that if we press and hold the spacebar down, we get the hotbox. But if we tap the spacebar, it will toggle between panel settings. So for instance, when I tapped, I went from the perspective view to a quad view. Now that's the equivalent of just clicking these icons right here. But we can do that within any panel. So for instance, let's say I'm in the perspective view and I want to go to the front view, but I want the front view to be full screen. What I want to do is go to that viewport and first make it active. Notice how there is a white bar that now goes around this viewport. To make it active, we can either left click or right click. Now I always suggest to do a right click because when you left click, you can actually select something that is in that viewport. So to avoid accidentally selecting or causing some sort of problem, I just use the right mouse button. So if I come over to the side view, right click, I've now made that active. So I'm going to go back to the front view and make that active and then tap the spacebar. And now I'm full screen on the front view. Tap to return to a quad view. And I'll come up here, right click for my perspective view, and tap again. And now I'm full screen in my perspective view. So this makes it very easy to shuttle back and forth between the different cameras that we have inside of Maya. Now I'm going to open what's called the hypergraph, just so that we can see what is currently in our scene. Now we have a blank scene. This is just brand new. We hit File, New, and Maya came up, and this is what we've got. But I want to show this to you because when we start Maya, we always have four cameras. We can create more cameras, but we can never delete these cameras right here. We will always have these. They are the default cameras. Now these are physical cameras. They actually exist inside of our 3D space. We can select them. We can move them around or we can look through them. And when we're looking through them, let's just close this out. This is exactly what we're seeing right here. So those were the camera nodes that are contained in our scene. And now we're actually looking through each of those nodes in these viewports or in these panels. Well, let's go full screen here with the perspective view and talk about how we move these cameras or how we control them and navigate. We primarily use the Alt key to move or manipulate our camera. So I'm going to press Alt and then left click, which will enable me to orbit or tumble my camera view. Now when we do this, it is actually moving the camera. And if I come up to this icon right here, that just allows me to select my camera and you can see all these values right there. If I tumble or orbit, you'll see that, hey, those values update as soon as I stop. That's because we are actually manipulating that camera. Now, if I choose Alt and middle click, that allows me to pan the camera or the camera view. Right clicking with Alt enables me to zoom in and zoom out. Now, some of the things that become very handy to use are some of our hotkeys on our keyboard. And I'm going to bring up an object here real quick, just so that we have some point of reference to manipulate around here. So if I want to look at a specific object, I can select it just by left clicking on it using the select tool, which is right here, and then hit F to frame the object in that camera's view. So we'll hit F and it frames it up. Now I'm gonna go back to a quad view here and just go to each viewport, move my mouse into that viewport and hit F, F, F. That's just framing those objects to that particular camera. I'm going to zoom out here. Now what we can also do is hit A, which is frame all. I'm going to duplicate this object real quick, and I just did control D. I'm just moving it out just so that we can see how this frame all works. So I'll select my object and hit F. Now if I hit A, it will frame everything. And then now I can see my other objects. So F and A, really, really handy for navigating around our world. Now that has moved my camera to focus both of them into the view. Notice how my camera now orbits. 
it's basically orbiting around the middle of both of these objects. Now if I hit F to frame my selection, now my camera center is now orbiting around the object itself. So that's good to know because what can happen is as we move around, I zoom out, I pan over, I orbit over here, you know, I'm just moving everything all over the place. Now I can't really see where the center of my camera is. And when I orbit, I'm really kind of just way out here. And it can kind of be a little difficult to see, hey, what's going on? I just want to look at an object. And that's where that F and A really comes in. So I could hit A immediately frame up those objects. I could select something, hit F, and frame that up, and it will basically re-register my camera so that I have some control and I know exactly what the camera is focusing in on. I'm just going to zoom out. One last thing that we have here, what we can use is Control and Alt to zoom into a specific region. Now I'll do that again. I'm going to hold Control and Alt and I'm going to draw with my left mouse button an area that I want to zoom in or frame up. And that immediately takes me to that section. Now notice there's also a negative there when we activate Control and Alt on my mouse. If I go in the opposite direction, so if I draw my marquee this way, I zoom out. So I can quickly zoom out and then notice the plus sign, quickly zoom in. So when I'm dragging this down, I'm zooming in. When I go up, I'm zooming out. 